Hey guys, I'm Fabian from Immutex, the company who made Yubi Linux. In this video I will show you how to install Yubi Linux on an Intel Edison. So for the installation you need an Intel Edison board. In my case I use an Arduino breakout board for the Intel Edison, but the instructions also work for other board layouts as well. Then you need a USB cable as a power supply and it is very important to power the board from your computer since the installation won't work with an external power supply. Then you need another USB cable for the serial connection so you are actually able to monitor the installation progress. And you need a Linux system on your computer which is in my case Linux Mint but any other distribution should be sufficient as well. And finally make sure your cables on your Edison are all disconnected from your computer. Now let's get going and install Yubi Linux. The first step is to download Yubi Linux. To do that, go to emutexlabs.com and change to the Yubi Linux tab. Then hit the Yubi Linux for Intel Edison button and your download will start straight away. But this will take a few minutes, so I'll be back after the download has finished. Now we can finally get our hands on the installer. So first of all, we have to extract the downloaded tarball. But since it takes a few minutes, I've done that already before. So when the tarball is extracted, open a terminal and change to the extracted directory, um, which is called to flash. A quick look at the files in there shows us the flash all script, which is our installer, but don't execute it yet. Open another terminal so we can watch the serial output of the board during the installation. So plug in your serial cable to your computer now and enter screen as command, just like I do. So you can actually watch the output of our board. I'm now changed back to the other terminal and execute the flash all script. Remember as root. And the script will prompt us to plug in the power supply of the board. You see? So let's do that. Plug in the power supply and um, the installation will start then. It usually takes a few seconds until the board is ready and powered up. Um, so there you go. On the serial output you see that the installation started. And now this process will take a few minutes. So we'll skip the waiting period right now. When the installation has finished, you should see the login prompt on your serial output. Now enter the default credentials, which are root and Edison. And that's it. You have a fully working Yubi Linux system on your Intel Edison now. So thanks for watching, guys. Good luck and have fun with Yubi Linux.